technology advancement, the South African company has developed the continent's largest unmanned aerial vehicle. These drones are firstly and foremost the largest UAVs ever produced on the African continent. It is done completely by South Africans uh, with the sole intention to supply to South Africa for, first and foremost. Um, the capability that's housed within this system is essentially it has the capability to perform search, reconnaissance, surveillance and uh, intelligence gathering operations. It can also be weaponized, for, so for cross-border warfare and defense capabilities it is ideally suited. The main advantage of this size UAV is that you have extended endurance, meaning you can fly for longer and do longer operations, as well as the payload carrying capacity of more than 200 kilograms of payload. Many countries are now developing their capacity to produce drones. There are actually quite a few countries, especially on the African continent. I think Africa as a continent has been riddled with subpar technologies. Um, and as a South African company, we understand those restrictions and those limitations uh, that are very often find uh, within the Western and uh, outer sphere as well. So countries that have shown potentially strong interest are countries uh, spe specifically in the SADC region, uh, countries like Botswana, Namibia, the DRC, um, and so forth, as well as the Eastern African region, which are heavily turbulated uh, with piracy and pirate activities that need to perform a lot of maritime surveillance operations. They can be used for wide area surveillance and can cover vast area along the country's border. This opens up a whole new sphere when it comes to border management. So when you are patrolling your borders and you have to find illicit crossings or cell phone interceptions, things like that, that is one of the main things. When it comes to special economic shipping lanes and maritime safety, this UAV is perfectly suited for those applications because of its extended range, um, as well as in-country human relief efforts. Uh, if you think back about the, the disasters and the floodings that happened in Durban uh, last year and the beginning of this year as well, um, human relief, care packages, medicine, uh, food, supplies, things like that could easily be deployed and released from a system such as this. Drones can be considered a very disruptive technology as they can do what piloted planes can but much cheaper, better and in many cases more efficient ways. So Fimguena, SABC News, Johannesburg.